Welcome to this week's tarot message. It is for the week of August 13th through the 19th of 2023. Wow, we are coming through this month pretty quickly, aren't we? And just keep in mind, on the 16th of August, we do have also a new moon, which is a good time to get some things started. So this reading is for all signs, and something may not resonate with you now, but maybe later on it will. And I'm not going to, to really harp on the date because this can resonate a little longer for you, okay? So just keep that in, just keep that in mind. Today I am using the Rider Waite playing card deck for those of you who like to know what the deck types are. And I will be confirming the reading with this little Radiant Wise Tarot deck, which is a mini tarot. It's the universal weight. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to ask for this reading for this week. We start out fantastic. Oh my goodness, look at that world card. And then we have a page of wands. And I'm cutting the cards, and oh, I'm sorry, I don't read reverse. That was, that's my fault because well, I probably put those back differently when I shuffled. You've got the Ace of, of Swords there. You've got the King of Wands. Now, for the next row, you have the Queen of Cups. Lovely. The Six of Swords, and, whoops, there we go again, Zelda, Zelda, the Three of Pentacles. We're going to put these to the side. Thank you so much. All right, so here we go. What a mix of emotions that you're going to have this week. Just when you feel like you're getting settled down and you feel like you're going to stay in one spot and you don't have to worry about things, all of a sudden something will happen or someone will say something or you'll feel like you have the urge and then you're feeling like you just want to pick up and maybe move in a different direction. Now that could be a physical move and it could be moving mentally. And you know, these times we tend to change our mind frequently and quickly. So the idea is for you to work through things. You've got the world at your feet and you have the ability to have all four corners of the universe working for you in, in tandem, just exactly for you. You see that this is coming full circle and right back around. You're right back on top again. So I think some things that are holding you back could be maybe the thought of a relationship, the thought of a past situationship, maybe even someone in the present, but that you're thinking about moving on from. But it's not a bad situation. I'm going to tell you, look at this pretty little page, fellow. He's dressed up to the nines. He's in good spirits, good fashion, but you see he's looking up. And he's looking for something to come. This is a fiery element card with this wand. It is opening doors. It is your ability to be able to work through and look for more. And that's what you've been doing. But what's happening? Well, this Queen of, of Cups tells us that memories hold you fast and still. You see all those little pebbles right here at the at her feet and of course this is water this is a water sign a water element and so this water keeps flowing and that means life continues to go on but sometimes we sit still and allow life to pass us by because we're so concentrating on the memories and things we have of the past She's holding this beautiful urn there, and the urn is filled with the memories of the souls of others. Yeah, this is a deep card. So, and I think sometimes we have a tendency to maybe think ourselves into another situation that we may not even have to go through. With this, these two swords here, this Ace of Swords tells me that 
Well, communication is good. There's a benevolent hand coming forward for you. This card is telling me that you've got a fresh start with communication and new beginning. This is something now that you can know that you're going to move forward. And there's also a timing card, which tells you the timing that you're going to be starting to feel this way is now. But what are you feeling like? Well, here's the idea. I think you feel like maybe things will be better if you moved on, or maybe things would be better if you made a change. This Six of Swords is, is a card that basically says, you know, I might be okay, but I'm moving from these choppy waters into much calmer seas. And I'm making sure that my communication skills are getting better. So I'm putting those right out front of me. And that means all the good and the bad. You're keeping things with you. You're hunkering down. You're getting ready to make another move. But the question is, do you need to? Here is the Three of Pentacles. I love this Three of Pentacles because it's not only a card that denotes finances, but it is a card that denotes, do you need some, well, do you need some advice? Do you, do you need a little help? You see what he's holding here? Take a look at this right there. That is a builder's mall. Now, what does that do? Anytime you see brick or concrete or anything else that needs to be tapped into place, that's what that's the finishing touch. That's what happens when you're trying to make things balanced and level and you're building your foundation. You go to others, you make it some, do some research and you make sure that your finances and everything else is going right for you and that you're grounded. And that's what you've been doing as well. So this King of Wands falls into place with this page and the Queen. Because basically he is rounding things out to say, look, I know I'm a fire element, but I'm sitting here on my throne and I'm not relaxing. I'm ready to jump into action at any moment. Because if I see an open door or an opportunity, I'm going to go. And like we've said before, you see this old fellow? That's a salamander. He is supposedly the only... Well, it's a spirit guide of the of the wand soup, but he is supposedly being able to walk through fire without being hurt or singed. And right now, that's how you're feeling. You've been through, believe me, you've been through the thick of it. I, believe, I, I just know it. I don't have to be psychic to tell you this. Based on this reading, this is this is what you're going through, but you're coming out. You're coming out of the hot coming out of a hot situation in a very good way. This is very good. So what all what does all this mean? Well, it means keep working on your communication. Don't make a knee-jerk reaction and move quickly. Make sure you've got the right information, the facts, and everything you need in order to continue on your path because you do have a fresh start, but you've got to make sure that things are aligned for you, and that's what this Three of Pentacles, just making sure that you are in alignment. Don't let everything the past hold you back, because you're going to be going forward. Just make sure that your timing is correct. Let's get you a final message. What is the final message for my friends here? Final message in this weekly reading. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. And here we go. Oh my goodness, this happens quite a bit. Do you see that? That's a confirmation card, but let's talk about this first. And this is what I'm talking about, having a knee-jerk reaction. Feeling like, well, is something not good enough? Have you been angry? Have you been feeling guilt? Have you been feeling like you've got you've got to look at the past? Have you been feeling like, wow, look look at look at everything that's been happening, but then you don't recognize what's right here. Still things that you can build upon. Still situations that you can build upon. Make sure you look around. Make sure you get advice and make sure that you get all the facts before you make a knee-jerk reaction. And look at this. Don't I love it? And I know you do too when this happens. Definitely confirmation 
that you might be feeling like things would be better, that grass is greener on the other side. Well, let me tell you something, darling. Whenever you start feeling that way, yeah, the grass may be greener on the other side, but it's still grass. It's still grass. And anything can happen. So I want you, remember, get all the facts. Do your homework. Make sure. Because I think this is how you're feeling. And even if you do decide to pick up and mosey on off and sail sail into the sunset, everything is still going to work out for you because you're just that way. I love it. I love it. Don't you love it when this happens? I sure do. Well, I want to thank you all for being here. I love it when you are. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, please come over to PsychicSecrets.com. I'm at extension 11. And you can, you can stay there and read the blog. You'll love that too. I'd love to read you. But if you want to look over, if you want to look over social media, you can find me as well. I am Psychic Zelda Kelly, and I love bringing this to you. You have a beautiful and wonderful week. Remember, no knee-jerk reactions, okay? Think it through. You're going to be just fine. Thank you so much. You have a beautiful and wonderful week. Many blessings to you. If you like this reading, please leave in the comments and also pass it along to someone who may benefit from this also. Take care and thanks again. See you next time.